One Piece chapter 1034. A pretty good chapter considering we're going on break next week. And you know, the break thing, we deal with it. It's part of the game at this point. But man, today we got to talk about this chapter because after sitting with it for a while, there's some things I want to talk about. There's some things I gotta say. But of course, first we start with the cover story. Before we continue though, this Sanji that we see right now, let's say he still had his raid suit. And if you add the raid suit on top of what he already has now, where would his ceiling be? Seriously, if Sanji still had the raid suit and you add it to his awakening that he's going through right now, where would he stand? Because I wonder if the raid suit had to be destroyed because yeah, yeah, it's getting crazy. However, the cover page, or rather the cover art request. The reason why I love this cover art so much is because I can see Usopp doing things like this after the Straw Hats disband. You know, this is something that I could see happening where Oda goes back and it's a throwback to this moment where Usopp is helping kids win things or helping people win things via his excellent marksman skills. And the faces of everyone around, it's perfect. And Usopp's sly yet cool yet uncool facial expression, it's perfect. Perfect. I really love this cover art request because again, it feels like something that could happen at the end of the story. Okay, now to the chapter. Explosions are still happening. People are still trying to get around, get away. Because again, a multitude of things are happening. Not only is Onigashima falling, but we have this fiery ball of slime going through walls, trying to get to the basement, to the armory, to blow up everything. But today's chapter revolved around Osome. Who is Osome? Well, she's the woman at Sanji that we thought. Sanji hurt or hit. There was always doubt. Most people leaned towards the fact that Sanji didn't do anything to her because it's not in his character and it's not in his nature. So even subconsciously, Sanji would not hit a woman. What we did not know though, is that this all revolved around a mouse. <laughs> well, not necessarily, but a mouse is involved. Yes, a pet mouse. Before then we have Momonosuke, looking quite fearsome if I might add. He's figured out a new strategy. As a dragon, recognizing himself as a dragon, it's not just about him creating flame clouds. He's like, well, if I can create create my own flame clouds, I can grab his flame clouds as well. And it makes sense since he was made basically from Kaido's DNA. We'll see how the strategy goes. I'm intrigued to see if this works because I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Of course, everyone can't die. So either Yamato is going to be successful, Momonosuke is going to be successful, or they both will. The worst case scenario is they both fail, but that's not plausible because then too many casualties, a bit too dark for One Piece. So more than likely they both succeed. Do you imagine how dark that would be if Momonosuke fails and all the people in the capital die and now Kaido's just laughing? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty tragic. I don't want that to happen because essentially that would mean the Straw Hats failed as well. Even though failure is good sometimes, it develops character. Look at Sanji. He's failed so much in One Piece so far, but look at this man. Look at how he's blooming now. We'll get to him though. The bulk of the chapter revolved around Sanji versus Queen and these chapters as I've told y'all before I like them don't love them because well I love them I don't want to say I don't like them it's just it's bittersweet they're so good but they're so short because what you see is what you get okay it's not that much world building to get into not many conspiracy theories what you see is what you get okay we can dissect the fight and what's happening the nuances behind the storylines and the plot points for the most part it's Sanji versus Queen Queen has the infinity stones I'm not sure if you guys realize that the infinity stones being all of his brother's powers. Ichiji, Niji, Yanji. No poison pink though. However, it was confirmed that Reiju did eat a devil fruit. So I guess her powers were from her devil fruit and not from Judge and the Germa science. Very interesting stuff here, huh? But Sanji's now going up against his brother's powers and Queen is flexing saying, hey, I was playing coy. I knew all along about Germa's technology. I just wanted to defeat you while you were transformed using the raid suit. He wanted to prove the Sanji that he was superior to his father his father that Sanji doesn't give a damn about, his brothers that Sanji doesn't give a damn about. If this was a different situation and Queen wasn't a complete moron, I guess a bad guy, Sanji would willingly give him the raid suit. Go, experiment on it. I don't care. But at this point, it's, you know, too far gone. But he doesn't care about his brothers. He doesn't care about your demonstration. The only problem, Queen, is that now Sanji's flames will burn hotter than ever because now you've incorporated and included his family. Those memories, those hell's memories is going to only be amplified because you're using these attacks that trigger so much of his trauma. So Queen, you think you're hurting Sanji by using these attacks that 
brings back so many memories that reminds Sanji of all the things he's been through. No, the only person that's in trouble is you. And we see it in this chapter. I believe we do get a flashback for Queen. Just seeing exactly what him and Judge went through. I would assume Queen at that point back then was probably a subordinate. Someone that was working under Judge instead of with Judge, I would say. Where Judge was probably the mastermind. The person that everyone looked to. And so for Queen surpassing Judge at this point. Point, that's the reason why he wants to prove himself so bad because he's like the student or the colleague has surpassed the lead scientist or maybe judge used to talk about his technology saying that they were too goofy they weren't progressive and his work that is the magnum opus of the one piece world not even vegapunk can stand a chance against his work now queen has incorporated every single thing into his fighting style well, into himself and he's like well if this is everything you can do and i've just done it what does that make me right so he's really stuck on that so that tells me a few things he is super vindictive but also he is very smart and he cares about science he really does even in the midst of what he's doing he's loyal to kaido but he's you know a bit selfish putting his worries his past his trauma above kaido's mission but you get it he's only human i guess the thing is though i love queen as a character it's unpredictable it's funny it's one piece queen is the embodiment of what one piece characters bring you but he's definitely in trouble because he has no idea what he's up against so far in the fight, Sanji hints that they're wearing down, that they've been going for a while. It seems like Sanji's fully in control of this fight. It seems like he's not dominating, but if you had to pick a winner, it'd be Sanji so far, based on what we've seen, because it's been a lot that's been going on off screen, so I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but he's doing such a fantastic job. That's why I asked the raid suit question, if he still had that. Oh my goodness. I remember a year or two ago, after Sanji got the raid suit, I had mentioned, I made a video talking about it. It's still up, actually. I'll put the link in the description, and also I'll put my link to Sanji and exploring him having conquerors as well. But the question I asked was Sanji versus the raid suit, meaning Sanji without using the raid suit versus Sanji with the raid suit. Because the raid suit at that point, and even still, hadn't used any of Sanji's techniques while he was within the suit. So I was like, okay, if we had Sanji using his techniques versus the raid suit, how would he fare? Now it's a legitimate argument because he is transformed. He's awakened in some aspects. Would this form of Sanji defeat Sanji with the raid suit? Probably, but I don't know because the raid suit, it amplifies so much. However, something important I would like to point out is that Sanji is saying he's accepted his fate. That's why he reached out to Zoro because he's now fighting full go. There's no doubt. There's no questioning. This is who he is, Sanji Vinsmoke, and he's found his resolve. Now that could sway. Things could change, but so far it seems to be working. Now, Queen, he decides to use Sanji's technique, stealth block, and go invisible. Cool, right? Very cool. But then we get some backstory in regards to him and Osome. So after he turned invisible, Sanji did the same, but it was just via straight up speed. And this is how it played out. Sanji's not wearing his suit. And then Queen determines he'll have to reappear at some point because of stamina. And he said it was a stupid attempt to counter him. Queen then sees Osome and Chuji. Mind you, Chuji is the pet mouse of Osome, and apparently she was Queen's number one after Kumarasaki died. She had obviously been ghosting him, and he didn't like that. But the thing is, he hit her before. The person that damaged Osome was none other than Queen, which, you know, it's a weird thing because Queen had Sanji there, basically unconscious, but chose to hit Osome back then. But now Queen, <laughs> he must really care about this woman because Sanji's stupid counter that he said. He then stopped paying attention to Sanji to sneak up, quote unquote, sneak up on Osome. It's so funny because while he was walking, it's literally creaking, right? Because he is a big boy. <laughs> Right? So for him and Stealth Black, it doesn't really work, okay? The whole sequence, it makes Sanji look cool, but it makes Queen look stupid, right? It just, it does make Queen look stupid. But Queen has done silly things before, so it's not really truly out of character. He's a character. But I think this says more about his relationships. I was talking about how he held on to the grudge with Judge and how he holds on to grudges, right? Now he's fighting Sanji and in the midst of the fight, saying Sanji had a stupid counter, he then turns away to go and dole out revenge to Osome, a very vindictive person probably in the past he got hurt so now he's all about revenge and dealing out damage to people that hurt him maybe too deep of a cross analyzation however i think it's really clear sanji's new attacks ifrit jambe now ifrit has been used in countless anime in regards to being a demon of some sort a fire demon this is on another level from diablo jambe for the most part beating weight behind his kicks they are completely on another level as i expected i've talked about this before you guys should know something i saw people spamming in the comment section was the lightning that was within 
and Sanji's kicks and people saying, well, this ionization. I guess the chemistry majors were out there going crazy because when I Googled it, it was basically when neutral atoms or molecules are converted to electrically charged atoms. That's as far as it goes for me. Um, people were saying that's what's happening here and that the electric kicks were similar to what was going on with his brothers or brother, Niji and Judge. So we'll see. Clearly, Sanji has elevated to another level. Something else I was thinking about. Sanji's past foes. They are lucky he didn't awaken until now. They are lucky that Sanji's exoskeleton was saved for Wano. Better go, Dofi. She would even Luffy, I'm playing. <laughs> He's scary now. And the Star Hats, they are scary. Together, I, I don't see many people even competing. Literally, many people aren't competing. Many crews are not competing with just a monster trio, right? Seriously. Again, Queen isn't done. It's just how he goes. But we got to give Sanji's props. He's going crazy. And that's our boy, right? That's what we love. But guys, give me your thoughts. How do you feel about the chapter? How do you feel about Sanji? We're on break next week, but expect a lot of content over the next couple weeks. We got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to explore. It's going to be a fun couple weeks. But guys, give me your thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys all so much. Again, guys, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I start doubting me, I felt lost, I rewrite it.